Welcome to Vibratech Trainers and Consultants Private Limited. Now we are going to see a case study on air compressor. This is applicable for all types of industrial compressors. Case study prepared by Vijaya Krishnan Venugapal, Director of Vibratech Trainers and Consultants Private Limited Chennai. He is a chartered engineer with more than 35 years of experience. He is an international vibration consultant and ISO certified vibration analyst CAT3 certificate holder. Also he is certified maintenance and reliability professional from SMRP. The air compressor we are going to see are coupled directly with motor of capacity 720 kW and 1488 RPM. Air compressor is mounted on a steel frame on concrete floor at ground level without any anti-vibration mounting. Vibration measurements are taken in all three directions, horizontal, vertical, axle, in each locations. Measurement locations are motor on drive end and drive end bearings, pulley free end bearing, compressor drive end and non-drive end bearings, low pressure cylinder, high pressure cylinder. Vibration amplitudes collected are displacement in microns peak to peak and velocity in millimeters per second RMS. Now onto the vibration limits, as per ISO standard and with our previous experience. When the velocity falls below 4.50 millimeters per second RMS, it's considered as good. When the velocity falls between 4.50 to 11.0 millimeters per second RMS, it is considered as fair. When the velocity falls above 11.0 millimeters per second RMS, it is considered to be rough. On physical inspection, insufficient rigidity in the compressor pulley free end bearing observed. Symptoms of strain in the cylinder supports observed. Minor piping strain in the output pulsating tank flange observed. Minor cracks observed at compressor pulley free end bearing base frame weld joints. Vibration data are collected. The vibration values are maximum at motor on drive end axle. Velocity up to 3.6 mm per second RMS with displacement of 80 microns peak to peak. And at pulley free end bearing horizontal, velocity up to 19.4 mm per second RMS and displacement with 345 microns peak to peak is observed. And at low pressure cylinder bearing horizontal, velocity up to 27.7 mm per second RMS and displacement with 589 microns peak to peak is observed. And the equipment health condition is rough. On going through the spectrum and frequencies of the compressor, the spectrums at motor on drive end, dominant peak frequencies are 1 times the running RPM of compressor. Spectrum at pulley free end bearing shows the dominant peak frequency value is 2 times running RPM and subharmonics indicating the improper rigidity of base frame. The dominant peak frequency value at low pressure cylinder is 1 times and 3 times the running RPM, and also the subharmonics generated due to improper rigidity at pulley free end bearing also indicated. The compressor was analyzed at motor full speed of 1488 RPM. Dominance of peak with frequencies of running RPM and its subharmonics observed at compressor pulley free end bearing location indicating improper rigidity. To rectify the same the following activities was carried out. Cross stiffeners were provided to improve the rigidity at pulley free end bearing. Additional shims added between the cylinder base and base frame and uniform tightness of bolts were done. Pipe strain was rectified. The above rectifications were carried out as per engineering practices to the extent possible without dismantling the base frame. Picture shows the existing design and additional stiffeners. Provided at pulley free end bearing. After the rectification work, vibration levels have decreased. The vibration values are maximum at motor on drive end axle. Velocity up to 2.2 mm per second RMS with displacement of 49 microns peak to peak. And at pulley free end bearing horizontal, velocity up to 10.3 mm per second RMS and displacement with 176 microns peak to peak is observed. And at low pressure cylinder bearing horizontal, velocity up to 6.5 mm per second RMS and displacement with 204 microns peak to peak is observed. 
on going through the comparison spectrum at pulley free end bearing, reduction in overall vibration from 19.44 mm per second RMS to 10.39 mm per second RMS. On going through the comparison spectrum at low pressure cylinder, reduction in overall vibration from 27.75 mm per second RMS to 6.47 mm per second RMS. After achieving proper agility, the reduction in vibration levels in pulley free end bearing from 345 microns peak to peak and 19.5 mm per second RMS to 176 microns peak to peak and 10.3 mm per second. The Heath condition of the compressor was improved from rough to fair category. Vibratech cater among all major industrial sectors. We conduct vibration analysis level 1 and 2 training programs online, and also in plant. ISO certified vibration analyst category 1, category 2, category 3 training and examination. Services we provide are vibration analysis, in situ dynamic balancing, laser alignment, motor current signature analysis, thermography, building or ground vibration measurements. We also market and provide service for machinery vibration analyzers and meters and low frequency building vibration analyzers.